Alrighty, so we're getting into what finals here now? Yeah, uh, the first round of the finals. Um, so it will be negative space versus W for Wallerbro. Uh, since W for Wallerbro was in the winners bracket, uh, they just need to win this first best of three, and they will be the champions of the tournament. If they lose, they technically get eliminated uh, the first time, and they play another best of three because uh, it is a double elimination tournament. So they do have two chances to win this best of three. Um, but I'm guessing preferably they'd like to win just this first one and not have to play I, I two would, series. I would like to win the... Uh, well, well, I can't even talk right now. I would like them to see them win the first one as well. Yeah. It's just I don't, I don't want to do no two best of threes. Yeah, a uh, lot, of, lot of games. That is a lot of games. Yeah. Um, so we see Zach, Nocturne, and Shen being banned out um, from... So for negative space, and then W for Oliver banning out Evelyn, Elise, and Ari. And uh, looks like they're gonna first pick that Zyra. Yeah, uh, really strong champion. Yeah, uh, either in support or mid. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, I think they played her mid um, yesterday, but I'm not too sure. I don't think we watched uh, any of those games on stream. I don't, I don't think we did either. Yeah. So looking at the Thresh Draven. Uh, Samuel's Draven, really good. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a, lot, a lot of aggressive play there. Yeah. Um, uh, it looks like he's locking that Corky. And probably with that Thresh. Oh, changes it to Sona last second. Um, so they're doing that Corky Sona that they played earlier today. Yeah, that um, was really strong. Really strong. Uh, Sona with a lot of great alts in that game. Yeah, I got a couple. She got that one five man alt there. Yeah. And uh, looks like they're going to think about this Ezreal Amumu. Um, so, again, layering those alts, that Amumu alt on top of the Zyra alt, or vice versa. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, we probably get to alt and lock them in place first. So if they get uh, those combinations up. Yeah, that could be a, a lot of damage there. Yep. Uh, oh, they uh, might change their mind. We'll just have to wait and see you until they uh, lock in. So it looks like we're going to choose that Jarvan over the Amumu. And uh, Dr. Fineby actually picking up that, that Shivana once again. Just right away. Um, Turning the same team so far that they played against them uh, earlier today and won with. So uh, if it's not broke, don't fix it, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Um, they won't be able to have uh, Zach this time as it's been banned out, but we'll see. Uh, what they just had to go mid or or top with? I'm thinking it's going to be another initiate champion here. Yeah, uh, usually how they like to play. Yeah, that probably might go with that Lissandra again. That was pretty strong. Yeah. Um. And uh, and Lissandra coming out. So so far the exact same team that they had played earlier. Uh, and they're gonna try um, try Karthus against Lissandra again. Um, he did well last game. He uh, he did well yeah, against Lissandra well. up until a point, and then uh, Lissandra just kind of uh, was a little too much. Yeah. Uh, and uh, K for Kimchi hovering over this Rangar pick. Um, so not uh, kind of that engage and disrupt champion that Zach was, but definitely that assassin type who's just going to go in there. And yeah, and definitely jump in there. Yeah, try to get that kill right away. But what's going to be different this time? They actually they actually have a rumble. Yeah. Uh, so that's going to be that's gonna be kind of a nice 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 disengage there because if they if they get to sit on that rumble rumble out there, that's going to do a lot of damage. Yeah. Well, that's if 
that's if he can get it off before he actually dies or Sona Alt comes off, right? Yep. So all a matter of timing. Um, so yeah, um, looks like W for Wallabro picking some uh, a comfortable composition for themselves. Um, as we saw in the first game of yeah, the, uh, definitely looking for that uh, that really really hard initiate. Yeah. And uh, negative space, trying a few different champions than they played earlier today. Uh, it does look like they're gonna have that uh, Zyra support. Uh, looks like she's running ignite, so it looks like they're gonna try to get uh, a lot more kills earlier in this game. Yeah. Um, Sona being a little squishy, and uh, Ezreal being able to poke. Uh, yeah, definitely well. from that, definitely from that, uh, that nerf on Sona there, their health there. Yep. We'll see if uh, Zyra's running AP ruins or if she's just going to have that extra. Yep. Uh, so she is doing flat and uh, AP per level. Uh, magic pen, armor, and armor pen. So she's looking to be really aggressive in this lane. Um, yeah, doing a lot of damage with those plants. Yep. So as opposed to to earlier, uh, where Negative Space was running a an AD heavy composition, now they have that double AP with the Zyra also going uh, more damage at this point. So we'll see if uh, how um, Magic Resist comes into play for 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 yeah for W for Wallabro. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna kind of want a lot of Magic Resist because there's gonna be yeah. A lot of magic damage. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, last game, Capri Kimchi was able to, to build that tank and be super disruptive. But uh, on Rengar, I think we'll see him try to build more focused on, on getting those kills. So they'll yeah, only have that one jumping, tank yeah, with uh, Shivana. Definitely jumping in there with that with that stealth and just being, being real, yeah, <laughs> being Rengar. Being Rengar. Yeah. <laughs> um, But definitely, like we saw a lot the other game, there they're probably gonna try to do like the same the same kind of team fights. There, just you're gonna see that that dragon flying in with that Lissandra, yeah, with that Rangar going in the back line and just nuking that Corky. Yeah, and then uh, just Sona, just gonna layer her alt whenever she feels is uh, the best. We saw last game she held off on using her alt in one of those team fights and had it up for the next one where they tried to push her right away and it was really good yeah so, definitely uh, she knows that she doesn't have to use it uh, during every team fight especially yes. with uh, Zerenga or Lissandra and Shivana being able to go so far ahead of everyone yeah and definitely them being them being really low t t uh, and then sh and then they just went in the team fight anyways no way to use it uh, <laughs> wait no way to, to uh, I, I can't even tell right now I'm so I'm so hungry <laughs> but yeah, she doesn't have to. She doesn't have to waste it, right? When, yeah. they, when they're that low. Yeah. So here we go, game one of the finals for the Edmonton Open here at Overclock Gaming. Uh, let's get a start. Rumble in the jungle looks so so relaxed. Having such a good time. But Dragon Dragon Wing Corky still gets my vote. Best skin. Yeah. I know the Shivana one's pretty cool too, so. Ice Drake. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Plumbay seems to like that skin. Uh, played a lot of Shravana this tournament. Yeah, actually uh, doing really well with her too. Yeah, I think he played uh, one game of Pantheon, and most of the other ones have been. Yeah, Pantheon. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see how the level one goes.
it looks like W for Wall Bros pinging um, the top of the the red again where they had caught out. Um, then the first time with the first time. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Zyra probably going to go ward the red and then head up Welcome with the rest of her team. Looks like they're going to go for that ward again in that mid lane so they can see them if they come up that red uh, that red ramp. Yeah, uh, and it looks like they were spotted out. Uh, the pings were go are going down there. Um. So they are seen going into that uh, until brush. But it looks like uh, there's going to be an engagement here. Looks like about their, uh, oh, they're about to go in here. Rengar jumps Something. in here. They actually took a lot of damage from Cassandra here. Yeah. And it looks like Dr. Flambe is going to flash and try to get this kill on the Zyra. Um, just chasing them down. Zyra locking them up. Uh, Dr. Flambe has got to be careful not to, to give away a kill here. So, <clears throat> so the first blood goes for uh, W for Walla there. Yep. Uh, and again, just... Oh, oh. Zara uh, sort of might be in a little bit of trouble, but he's able to back away. Um, uh, and the kill goes to uh, Corky, so he's be able to he's be able to go back and get a oh yeah actually gets a long sword there. So that's yeah. gonna be really strong for him. Yeah. So uh, Ezreal's gonna be have to little, uh, have to be pretty careful of that uh, Corky down bot now. Um, but yeah, good uh, level one again by W for Waller bro. Um, patient waiting in that top trailer and. Uh, that ward in that mid lane, so important again to show out uh, where negative space was. <laughs> and Dr. Plumbe able to get uh, that level 2 and his blew up pretty quickly. Uh, looks like he's going down to try to invade this Jarvan. He's actually just waiting there. Actually, let the, the red buff go to Jarvan here. Yeah. So she was pretty low and didn't want to uh, to fight that yet. But uh, she's engaging on this, and I don't think she can take Jarvan, who just hit level three. Yeah, I don't think um, so either. I don't know what, uh, what she's trying to do here. Lissandra is coming as well, but uh, Jarvan's just gonna back. Corky able to get the kill on Zyra. Uh, Bot lane did try to come up and help. And Corky able to get that blue buff because Zyra was the one to kill Shirvana. So, uh, good buff transfer complete, I guess, for, ah, for Shirvana. Actually, I don't know if they actually meant to do that. Maybe, <laughs> Probably maybe. not. Uh, but yeah, so Zyra getting that last hit on that Shirvana, uh, giving her that blue buff, and then Corky just finishing her off. And Rengar doing quite a bit of work up top, two levels above uh, the rumble there. Yeah, so it looks like uh, like bottom lanes that I have a little bit of trouble with that quick with that move off. Rengar just jumping in on this uh, rumble. It's actually taking a lot of damage there. Jarvan's actually coming top back from here. Actually, there's a ward there though, but I'm uh, just gonna run away here. Ash gets caught by um, me here. Yeah. Uh, so Ranger has a flash, flash away. Uh, is able to to stay alive. Good attempt by Jarvan for the gank. He is waiting around in this top rush. Or, sorry, in this top lane. Um. It looks like Rengar is going to catch Rumble trying to back. And, uh, looks like he might have caught him looking at his shop because he didn't react uh, at all until he was already dead. 
Yeah, definitely. Um, but good, uh, good patience by Kafer Kimchi to uh, just wait in that bush and then try to get that kill. And uh, Jarvan with uh, the gank mid, but Shirvana there to help out. Um, probably gonna have to back away from this, but uh, is able to save Lissandra, who is gonna go in and dies to that last lay waste. Yeah, that was very. Uh, I thought she was gonna get away there, but yeah, uh, just about. And it looks uh, pretty dangerous for Shirvana there. Uh, Jarvan was able to poke outside of that tower range, so it's pretty close. Um, Yeah, Corky's on a little bit of a CS lead at bottom lane here. Yeah, the, those two kills and that CS lead going to do a lot of work. Um, he's going to be able to itemize a lot quicker. And Rangar's actually double uh, rubble CS the top lane here. Yeah. And it looks like Rumble's playing pretty passively. He's just going to go back now after getting a little bit of a, a couple waves of CS. Um, looks like he is picking up another cloth armor and some more pots to try to um, sustain a little better against this Rengar, who uh, really is just being a lane bully. Uh, Lissandra is bottom, but I don't know if they're going to try to dive this. Uh, Lissandra is six. Um, but Jarvan is also bottom. Yeah, Rengar's actually in mid here now too. Yeah. So they might look to uh, jump on this cart this year. Yeah. Yeah. Rengar just going back uh, top. So a nice flash to get uh, away from that knockout from Jarvan. Um, Rengar level 6 is going to go on this rumble. Uh, level 7 now. <clears throat> Just doing a bit of damage and walking away. Uh, so still really strong. Rumble is 6 as well now. Uh, throws down that equalizer to, to try to get some more CS. Jungler's giving out uh, mids their uh, blue block here. Yep. Karthus is actually picking up this tier a little bit earlier than last game. Instead of that early round of ages. Yeah, last game uh, he went with the Roa. Yeah. Um, and then his Xerx wasn't really completed. I don't think it was complete by the end of the game. No, I don't think it was. Oh. Um, so just wants to be able to sustain a little bit better after that initial burst. Corky still hasn't back since um, that first blood. So he's sitting on 2300 right now. Um, it looks like he's just wanted to clear that wave and head back now. So we'll see what he picks up. Um, Probably gonna pick up a. a oh, oh, Rengar actually comes on Kratos here and gets halted by Alexandra. So, uh, just the strength of Rengar, able to just stealth right in there, and uh, little Alexandra follow up, locking Kratos in place, and able to get that kill. Uh, good gank by Rengar, and uh, good for Dr. Uh, good of Dr. Fonde to hold that top lane. Uh, bot taking a lot of damage uh, with his Jarvan. And Ezreal, uh, don't know if they'll be able to get it. Uh, Corky is there now to try to clear that wave. And they should be a little bit afraid now because Corky does have that BF sword along with that finished fam center and uh, his boots now. And it looks like Ezreal and Zyra are just gonna back now and uh, Corky might be able to get this wave if Jarvan doesn't come cover for it. Uh. 
Rengar Rengar just heading back top. Uh, still with a fairly good CS lead considering he's been roaming a lot. Um, Kinda just has that advantage, goes down and gets a kill and then just goes back into lane and see it and pushes that lane. Yeah, so they saw they saw Karthus there on a war there, so they're gonna about to come up here. Yep. Uh, looks like they're tr thinking about doing dragon. Uh, it is gonna get warded right now with the pink on the inside there. We'll see if they still decide to do it. Uh, Jarvan being a little caught out. Trevana ulting in, but um, isn't able to follow up with anything. It looks like they just positioned himself for this team fight. Uh, Rumble is coming down along with the Rengar. Looks like they're just going to back away from this and reposition themselves. So just positioning themselves around, uh, throwing down wars to get a bit of vision if they do decide to come in. Um, it doesn't look like uh, W for Wallabro is going to try to. F oh, so it. So it looks like they're going to start this dragon. Um, but they should be careful. Rengar's coming in from the other side. Yeah, that's easy. And here comes the Lissandra. That she jumps on Dragon here. And the Sona ult. That's not coming down here. As she gets up. Oh. Ezreal was able to kill off uh, Rengar there. Rengar. But uh, Sona picking up that kill as well. On um, that Ezreal, uh, so good team fight by by uh, W for Wallabro, Rengar going around behind them, cutting them off, and forcing that fight with Lissandra alt. Yeah, and then just making them able to get this dragon here, yeah. and, and actually they should be able to get it if uh, Corky tanks for a little bit. Red team yeah. has slain the dragon. And Sona picks up that dragon for her team. Sona. So the dragon. <laughs> when do you see that? You never she's, see that. She's doing work. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that was a good alt by, uh, by Sona as well in that team fight. Yeah, definitely. This is the gold lead about 5,000. Okay, uh, Rengar would be able to take this Charvin, uh, but Rumble is also there. Uh, it looks like Negative Space is trying to take the mid tower in retaliation for the the top or the dragon. And uh, W for Wallabo able to to get back to that mid tower in time to push them off. So we'll see where Negative Space decides their next objective should be. Um, it looks like W for Wallabro might just try to take this mid turret with uh, Shirvana and Corky. Yeah, Rengar's, I think Rengar's, they send Rengar top just to push that top lane so Rumble's on in that team. Yeah. Yeah, so they're able to get that mid turret. And uh, they're going to try to push this inner turret as well. Raven's actually really low. Oh, and the, the last, rocket there. Yeah, last rocket able to get it and take that red buff. Good aim, good aim on that Corky. Yeah. It looks like uh, Shivana and Lissandra just gonna go in on this. Rengar's Karthus. actually waiting here. For this Rumble to come around. Huh. That sneaky, <laughs> sneaky Rengar. Uh, he is gonna just jump Shivana right on to Zara. Jump on Karthus too as well. Uh, he does go down, but is able to. To let his team get that inner turret and a couple of kills. So good uh, last five or so minutes by W for Wallabro. 
about it to uh, win that dragon team fight, get dragon, and get those two mid towers. So that's what they tried last time, and then they just decided to back away and go to their uh, the other lanes, and it allowed W for Wall of Road to pressure down that mid turret. <coughs> so Samuel on that uh, that quirky again looks like he's going to try to build uh, Trinity Force once again, uh, but five zero and two. Yeah, doing really strong right now. Really strong again on the quirky. You, you think you're gonna see a lot, a lot more of that, a lot more of that, uh, that build now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, On like different AD carries though. Uh, Ezreal could probably go that build again, and still be as, as effective. Um, the blue build Ezreal seemed to have been the flavor of the week for a little while. I was actually playing rank this morning, and I seen an actual one. Like, actual has been destroyed. Yeah. It was, it was, I know people are starting to like it. I think. Yeah, <laughs> with that, uh, that. Speed, the movement speed boost every time you kill something is kind of really helpful. Uh. Looks like Rengar is just heading down mid again. Um, st stealing the jungle away. <clears throat> and Dr. Von Bay just sitting on a ward. And it looks like we're gonna pressure down this bottom turret as well. Uh, Rengar is top pushing that. So Rumble in that mid lane trying to help push that out. Uh, has to go back top to deal with this Rengar. And it's a 4v4 in the bottom lane. So we'll see when they decide to initiate on it. Uh, Darwin does go in, but just to, uh, to try to pressure them off the tower and clear that wave. Uh, one more wave, and they'd probably be able to get this tower. So we'll see if they uh, play that right. Yeah, Lissandra's just sitting in the back there, so if they really want to die, they could. Yeah, uh, they, do, they do see Lissandra on the side there yeah, with that ward. She is still able to get that ward. Dark is all actually coming down here. And actually he's picking up that Shivana kill. Uh, he's able to pick up Shivana. Flash ult by Sona. Uh, Delirium getting that kill back with the passive. And Corky just too oom to uh, fire any more rockets. Um, good flash ult by Sona. Unfortunately uh, getting killed by that Zyra passive after. It also looks like uh, Rengar is going to take that top tower for himself. Blue team's turret has been destroyed. Yep, Rumble uh, choosing to go try to get bought. Um, or Rengar just split pushing away. Uh, Jarvan trying to chase him down. Uh, but just gives up that chase. Uh, even if he did catch up to him, uh, I think Rengar might have just turned on him. Yeah, definitely. He's, 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 a, he's a very strong right now. Yeah. You see Rengar did build that machete's tooth. Or the beam tooth necklace, sorry. Yeah. Um, no stacks on it just yet. So we'll have to uh, start with the assassinations to make that item worth it. Yeah, or, or getting those assists, right? Yeah. Because you get one per, one for an assist and then two for a kill, right? Uh, trophies and killing champions. Yeah, grants one trophy for kills and assists. So you get the same amount for either kill or an assist. Oh, okay. Oh, he's actually jumping on Zyra here and actually yep. blowing her up. Yep. And just throws a bowl at the finisher off there. So there we go. His first trophy, I think. Yeah, his first trophy, his first, his first, his first, uh, yeah. he's going to put that up on the mantle, put remember the it mantle. always. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 
So Corky coming back now with that finished off Triforce. Um, yeah, it's, and it's only 20 minutes in the game. Yeah. Yep. That's right. That's really big. Right. We see Shirana just waiting behind that, uh, in their jungle. As soon as someone comes far enough out, it looks like they're just going to try to turn on them. Uh, the pings are going down, but Corky isn't with them in this fight, so they might not want to engage just yet. Well, Sandra using her escape to uh, get out of there after Karthus has slowed her down. Rengar is just a little out of position here. I don't think they're going to be able to catch up to him. Um, but standing on wards inside of their jungle. Um, yeah, Delirium doing a good job keeping the jungle warded. To at least try to mitigate that uh, Rengar assassination. Rengar actually is invisible here. Oh. Does have to to alt to get or splash to get away, but uh, Driver Alt will be down for the next team fight. And it looks like Corky and Sonar are just gonna try to push this bot lane. Um, while Asandra just waits for someone to path incorrectly and get that assassination on her. Corky doing a lot of damage on that Karthus. Rangar just just keeps keeps putting pressure on that top lane there. Yeah. It looks like Rangar's gonna transition to this mid lane and try to push that out a little bit more. Sona does get the alt off on Karthus, uh, who's still alive and is able to walk back towards the area where Parky is at. Uh, the ult is going down from Karthus and does get a double kill. Uh, but Corky is left alive uh, as well as Rangar, so that was a 3 for 2. Um, and Rangar was able to pick up that top inhibitor turret and most likely will get this inhibitor as well. Blue team's inhibitor has been destroyed. And it looks like they might get this tower as well. Yep. With Rangar actually halted. Yeah. Actually, gonna destroy the Sire here. Ah! Oh. Able to get the assist, but uh, Jarvan is up now, so they should be pretty scared. Um, it looks like they are going to try to chase this down for a little while at least. Well, Rumble's not ult is not up. So. No. Actually, ult on Sony here. Yeah. Samuel turns around and actually blows up the Rumble here. Okay, I think so. he's just gonna disengage here and let's and let Sona. Yeah. Diamond. Sono with the sacrifice play. <laughs> Dodges the Ezreal. The Ezreal enforces the kill on to, to Jarvan. And, uh, um, it looked like Jarvan wanted to give that the away. The surrender goes out actually for... Uh, for... Um, what that team is. Uh, negative space. Negative just, space. Yep. Yeah, uh, just deciding that the game was out of hand. Um, it, it wasn't going to be uh, any chance to come back. So they just want to get on to game number two and hope to do a little bit better. Uh, we'll be back with game number two, I think, right away.